Yo guys, welcome back my YouTube channel. I'm Dave. In this video, I'm gonna to teach you guys, after the DMA hardware arrived in your house, how should you do? How can we cheat in the game? First, this is your DMA bundle product, and with the private firmware, this is your fusion device. And this is your DMA device. In order to prevent the DMA from not working due to bumps during transportation, we purchased an anti-static bag, a metal plate with the data and JTAG ports written on it, and screws. And of course, a one meter cable for the USB-C 3.2 interface. This is a cam box, which is used in the aim bot as well as the trigger bot. You need to connect two USB cables to your two PCs. These are the three HDMI cables that come with the Fusion. If you need DP cables, Please leave a message in the order form on the SugarGoo platform. This one USB cable is for use when flashing your monitor's firmware, meaning that if you want ESP in your main screen, you'll need to use the fuser. Here are some of the cable connections, but of course we'll get to that in a minute. So let's start with the DMA card. Of course, our Fusions have a QR code on the back of the Fusion. First things first, take out your DMA card and you'll see that it's perfect, with all the chips explicitly labeled on the DMA board. Then use a few screws on the box to connect the metal plate to the DMA card, which protects the chip when you switch the burn port. Once you have attached the metal plate, this is your DMA card. You can clearly see the data and JTAG ports on the back of the metal plate or DMA card. Now insert your DMA card into the PCIe port of your main PC. This is your computer's PCIe port, which is usually underneath your graphics card, in the direction I'm pointing my finger. This is a PCIe X1 slot, but of course there are some customers as well as viewers who have longer PCIe slots, even if it is a PCIe X16 slot, there is no problem to work perfectly. Just plug in the DMA card. When the DMA card is inserted, you can see the data and JTAG ports behind the metal plate. Of course, the light on my side is too bright and harsh. I may not be able to see it clearly. You guys will be able to see it clearly when you receive the item. You just need to make sure your DMA card is inserted, screwed in, and the cable connected to your radar PC. Now use the USB cable included with the DMA card to access the radar PC USB port. In this tutorial, I'm using a mini PC and making sure that my mini PC has a USB 3.1 or USB 3.2 port. Just plug it into the USB port of the radar PC. The cable access for the DMA card is now complete. After you turn on the power of both computers, you will find that the DMA card will have two lights. Don't worry about it if your DMA card doesn't have any lights when the computer is turned on please contact your dealer. It is important to reiterate that all PCIe ports in this image are perfect for plugging in DMA cards. This is our radar PC. Please do this in radar PC. Just follow my tutorial. You can download all the tools you need for radar PC on my Discord server or in my GitHub. If you have any questions, you can join our Discord server. First, open your computer's device manager. For first-time DMA installers, you will see this FIFO device. Please right-click on it and choose File Update Device from my computer. Please select the Win 10 system folder in the folder we sent you, or if you have Win 11, select Win 10 as well. Okay, now the FTD601 device is displayed.
Now we need to paste the System32 and Sys64 files from the folder DL patch into the Windows directory of the System C disk. Just test it, because I'm using USB 3.1 port, so the speed will be litter slow for 6000, if USB 3.2 speed will be 8000. Okay, this concludes the tutorial on setting up the DMA card. Now let's move on to setting up the KM box. PC, this is my main PC. Once your trigger ball set up down, you can light this. These are the two blue cables that we have connected. First of all, you can see that there's an English PC here. So you connect the port that shows the English PC text to your main PC and the remaining port to your radar PC and your aimbot is ready to work perfectly. Now that your cam box is set up, when it says OK, that means success, that means victory. Now for your fuser setup tutorial, it's very important. Very many idiots have been asking us how to set it up just because of this. I have a picture here of how the DMA is properly wired into the cable. You guys can pause the video and check it out. <laughs> 